this real session is not on the theory but on you know but it is all the more about the practical examples of the industry did you did anything in addition to that you know because many of the students they really come on to me and i'm sure in this was the same question that you also asked when you know you were doing the content and many of the students were to ask you know what should be granular level strategy for this exam abinandita more on the uh, on the strategy side so you took like two and a half kind of yes. months to prepare yes. for this exam you did the entire fin ram sessions in terms of the curriculum and then you revised the boot camp also and if i have understood rightly you did it two times in terms two of times. really being yes. there now uh, did you did anything in addition to that you know because many of the students they really come on to me and i'm sure you know this was the same question that you also asked when you know you were doing the content and many of the students they do ask uh, and i do have an answer to it but i really want to hear it from the from the from your mouth in terms of you know do you do, do you really think that there is a need of doing anything else then you know what we did or uh, you know you did something more too and you know, i'm just trying to understand no i really did not like uh, as i said in the beginning maybe i was thinking that i need need to do something more something extra but uh, i realized that there's really that it's just going to add to my stress the more i if I, if about like if in, in a session like what you're teaching if i go and do and something additional to it i think it will be more of an overwhelmed thing in my head i have i'd have too much information and that is never good for you know studying for a paper that has as vast of a syllabus as sbl does so then i was like it's as as long as i do the sessions well and as long as i keep like making notes small notes little little uh, notes in my head also it was enough like i didn't do anything additional i just did the lectures and the revision boot camp and read the technical articles and that was it like it was enough and and you know i i you know i'm happily happily with you on that because i do feel that all that you need to do and i'm sure you know you would have heard the same thing when in my sessions all that i think that you should you need to do in addition to the content that we provide and the revision boot camp is the past examination questions yes. so while we have covered a lot you know in the revision boot camp we have covered many questions of past exams but i do feel that you know if somebody has to do something more they have to practice the past the past questions because that is going to be the mantra you know if you if you have practice few questions by your own hand then your life becomes much easier in terms of handling that when you would yourself sit in the exam i think that's that's the big big uh, thing that i have now if a student has to really ask you that what should be the uh, you know what should be the granular level strategy for this exam you know because you know while we being the faculty you know we we really call this out in the market to the students that this is what you should be doing but they always always want to hear from the folks who have just given the exam because they can really get inspired by them in terms of you know what has worked for you can or may also work for them so they really want to hear it from you as to you know what they should be doing so what would that be if you have to really suggest to the students i think most importantly going into this the biggest thing that you need to have is a routine like it really helped for me because uh, i knew that going to sleep i literally had i wrote down every single like uh, i made a time table as per sessions and as per the syllabus areas and i gave myself a deadline that within this time i need to finish at least one viewing of this syllabus area and i knew every night that i went to sleep that tomorrow this is something that i'm going to tackle and that kept on that that is actually what had like worked for me because i knew that if i gave myself a time period and also a uh, you know uh, like a goal to go look forward to every day then i think the satisfaction level that you get at the end of the day that you did this what you planned on doing i think that that is something that i think uh, has always worked for me and even in this situation is no different because i think getting a level of satisfaction is important when it's very easy to get overwhelmed by the number of things that you need to do so knowing that okay, i think making a time table is very important i'm relished by by hearing that because uh, it is not the quantity of the hours that you really put in it is it is more to do with the what what exactly you need to study i think that is that is equally important there and that is the reason you know you since you you are a fin trammer you are a proud fin trammer you know that the kind of emphasis that we 
that we do in our SBL session is not on the theory, but on yes. you know, but it is all the more about the practical examples of the industry. You know, and yes. you can pick up any session. You know, we have we have yes, so many examples. You know, on, and we explain the concept with the help of an example, and I think yes. that really sticks on. You know, when you yes. when you really you know That's try to uh, answer that anywhere, you know, elsewhere. Sorry, you were saying something. No, oh, it's just I just remember that uh, when you were teaching the pestle analysis and Porter's five forces and for, like the pyramid and everything, like if you hadn't given us examples for each and everything, I think it would get confusing because knowing where to apply what is something that you can only understand with the help of an example. Because even in the question in the examination, we had to apply pestle analysis based on a swap uh, analysis that was given and. In that, it, it's very it's very easy to get confused to apply what in which in what situation. So knowing, keeping the examples in the mind, and it really helped in knowing that okay, this is what the question is asking. This is how I should approach this entire question in the exhibit. So yeah, the examples really st stuck on more than more than theory, more than anything. Mm -hmm.